What's up, everybody? It's your boy, JP, back again with another video. And today, as you can obviously see, I have the standard 6.1-inch Galaxy S22. And this is the green variant. I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera. Um, but uh, I have to say, it is gorgeous. This phone feels fantastic in the hand. It's very squarish, like a you know, like an iPhone. Here's your Type C and your speaker. Gonna give you a rundown of it here, really quick here. No headphone jack, but um, um, let's see. I'm trying to get my focus to go on here. Let me see if the screen. Needs to be lowered or met possibly here. But um, no frills packaging here, obviously, here. Very small box there. Damn, y'all, I'm sorry. I just, I guess it's just my lighting. Dang. But, um, you know, that's literally all that's in the box there. Your USB Type-C cable and your quick start. That's literally it. Nothing else to show. But, um... This right here is actually, believe it or not, the uh, the Boost Mobile variant. And um, upon pre-release, the price have since gone up. Um, they still sell them at a discount, though. But um, as y'all know, the 128 gig Galaxy S21 starting price is $800. Um, to get the one with 256 gigs of internal storage, it's either $850 or $900. I've seen it for both prices. I've seen it for $849 and I've seen it for $899. Um, Boost currently sells... Um, they currently sell the 128 gig model for... Um, it's either... It's either a it's either a hundred or two hundred dollars less than the regular price, so it's either six or seven hundred dollars. But if you actually caught their sale, um, when the when these were first announced, and if you happen to catch it before the uh, the twenty fifth, I think it was, these actually had a fire deal, fire deal. The um, I actually got this. Um, I ordered it the day after they were announced when Boost put them up for sale because someone actually put me up on it. I wasn't currently a Boost customer. Uh, but they actually had this up for sale for only $4.99. $500. And you got free, free double the memory upgrade. So you not only, so I, this, I didn't get the 128 gig model for 500 which which would have already been a steal in itself. I got the 256 gig model for $500. So that is essentially that's essentially 350 to $400 off, almost half the price. And um, you can't beat that. It has 8 gigs of RAM. It is uh the full HD plus 1080. Uh it is a uh, Obviously, Super AMOLED. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate. It is variable all the way down to, I think, like 41 or 43 hertz, something like that. Um, there was a downgrade in the battery. It's like 3,800 something milliamps. Uh, but battery life to me has been the same as last year's Galaxy S21, which I also had. Despite the slightly larger battery, you do get a slightly smaller screen here. Um, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is also a little bit more efficient than the Snapdragon 888, seeing how it's built on a 4 nanometer node instead of a 5 nanometer node. So um, it's definitely not that bad at all. You will at least get a day's worth out of it. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, if you're a Boost Mobile customer, this phone is a fantastic deal, even even now, I mean, like I said, they, they sell the 128 gig model. They've gone back up, but they sell it for, for like, um, it's either like, it's either six or $700, no more than 700. You know, if you're a boost customer and you're not going anywhere, 
you don't have it doesn't have to be unlocked. I mean, you know, a, a, you know, a good, you know, even a one hundred dollar savings, you know, might be worth it to you. You know, um, I think they'll unlock it after you've been with them for a year or something like that, maybe less, because a lot of companies actually do it for less now. Uh, I don't think they're one of them though. Because uh, I know Dish, when they took over, they changed certain policies that may or may not have been one of them. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's, there's there's um, obviously going to be a ton of Galaxy S22 videos already out there. I mean, much higher quality than mine. So I'm not going to, you know, keep rambling on too much about this. You already know what you're getting. Um, you're getting you're getting a compact phone just about. I mean, I, I, I realize 6.1 inches isn't isn't super small. But compared to, to, to its siblings and other phones and, and, and the symmetrical bezel on this phone, you know, a lot of times these phones, the bezels match up on the sides and the top, but the, it'll still have a chin. This phone, the chin is the same size as the other three sides. I mean, it is literally symmetrical and it feels fantastic in the hands. It looks like an S21 from, the di from a distance minus the two-tone color that the S21s came in. But I'm going to tell you, up close, especially in the front, you could tell the difference. And it's not even because the screen size is smaller because you're barely going to notice that. 6.1 inches and 6.2 inches, you're not even going to notice that. You're, you're going to notice the symmetrical bezels on this phone. And that's what makes it so nice. It, it, just, it just looks and feels very luxurious in the hands. Um, it does have Gorilla Glass Victus Plus front and back. Um, it's not plastic in the back like the S21 was. Um, you know, um, this is also the first time since the Ultras, since the Ultra was introduced to the Galaxy S lineup that the Galaxy S Plus, you know, obviously here we're talking about the S22 Plus, you know, compared to the standard model here being the standard S22 this is the first time since that third Ultra model has been introduced that the Plus, for the most part, granted, there's still a couple of differences, but for the most part, the Plus is literally just a bigger version of the standard S22, which really is all it really should have ever been. But, um, you know, the past couple of years since they introduced the Ultra, the Ultra and the Plus would be much more closely related, whereas the standard, the smaller one, would be left out of several things. The main thing being the camera. And that's where I'm getting at. The S22 right here has the same exact camera setup as the S22 Plus. The S22 Plus's camera doesn't feature anything more than what the standard S22 right here has. And these have been hugely upgraded from the S21 as well. So... I mean, for the price, you're getting a hell of a camera system. Now, is it on par with the Ultra? Well, no. The Ultra still does, still has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Uh, but the Ultra also looks like a different phone. And that's before you even take the S Pen out. With the S Pen built in, I mean, you essentially have a Note. It's essentially a Note 22. I mean... You know, if a Note was to come out later on this year, which we know it's not, it would have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, possibly the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, if that ends up being a thing. Uh, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you know, sometimes I should say, not, not all the times, but sometimes the Note will come out with the Plus processor, or the Plus variant, and sometimes it didn't, though. There were times where there was a Plus and it didn't even get it. Um, you know, it had the same exact processor as the as the uh, as the Galaxy S that came out five six months before it. Um, I mean, I think the last Note, the Note twenty, was was one of the very few that actually had a processor upgrade. It had the Snapdragon eight fifty five plus as opposed to the standard eight fifty five. Um, but the um, you know the the Galaxy S twenty two Ultra is really a, an entirely different device. I mean, it's a Note twenty two. They just, you know, they just included it in the lineup, which is what everybody wanted anyways, you know, because they're going to focus on the folds, you know, the Z folds and the Z flips later on this year. That's kind of what they're wanting to focus their, their, their later year flagships. You know, they, they're wanting to use those up for the folding devices now. But, um, 
the um, there's not a big difference between the S22 and S22 Plus this year, which is fantastic, especially if you want the more compact of the two. Um, you know, am I a fan of small phones? I mean, honestly, I like them both. I I I, I do like the bigger phones. Um, I don't have a problem with these smaller ones either. Um, I only cover these because there's gonna there's already a slew of videos out on the Ultra, and there's very few on the regular S22. I'm actually seeing that there's not even a lot on the Plus variant because there's not a big difference between it and the um, and the 6.1 inch version right here. Um, you know, there are other you know obvious differences besides the bigger screen. You're you're gonna get a bigger battery, obviously. Like you know, I'm, I I would hope so, anyways. Um, and there and there's a couple of other subtle differences. But for the most part, you're getting the plus, you know, just, just just in a smaller form, the compact form factor. So, I mean, this is your almost compact flagship. I won't say fully compact, you know, because, again, 6.1 inches is still a big size. But with the symmetrical bezels, um, the screen to body ratio on this phone is crazy good. I mean, it's it's awesome. The, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the punch hole is very small. Um, I mean, it, it's hardly noticeable. I mean it it's it's um I mean it, it it's a it feels fantastic in the hands again. I mean I absolutely love the way that this phone feels in the hands. I mean it just feels like money. I mean, it really does. It feels like money. Um, you know, now, you know, for the price, seven, eight hundred dollars, you know, you you you've really got to be in it for the camera, honestly. And you've got to want a compact phone. Um, you know, um, as many people know, I'm not the biggest camera buff. As long as something takes decent photos and videos, I'm happy. Um, and 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 really, you know, with the uh, with the Red Magic Seven coming out on March 10th, uh, which is still a few weeks away. Today is February 27th, uh, but with the Red Magic Seven going up for sale on March 10th, it'll probably be another five, six, seven days before you're actually able to get it in your hands upon ordering it, because it'll still ship from overseas. Um, for six thirty, there's I, I couldn't possibly recommend any other Snapdragon eight Gen one powered smartphone. Uh, that that's you know, I mean that's you know anything more than six thirty because that's just an unbeatable deal. I mean you know, uh, granted I know that there's a lot of camera buffs, so you know obviously there's going to be much better when it comes to to the camera. It's not all about the processor. So uh, of course I, I do realize that, but um, but y'all y'all already know which way I'm going because I am a mobile gamer, you know first and foremost as opposed to mobile photographer. You know uh, I'm not a mobile photographer or a photographer at all, but I do like taking good pictures. I do like taking pictures of my cars and stuff like that, my bikes. But I mean you know I mean as long as something takes decent pictures, decent photos, I mean I'm happy. You know de de decent videos. I mean, but um, of course the Galaxy S that you can't go wrong with. They're gonna get support beyond any other phone, especially a Red Magic phone. I have to say that. That thing will come with Android 12 and it'll be lucky to ever see 13. Samsung, however, they beat Google and their Pixel. This phone will have four years of updates, not just security updates, but OS updates, four years. That beats Google's three-year OS update and then four-year security update. Uh, so, I mean, this thing right here is going to get Android 13. It's going to get Android 14. It's going to get Android 15. It's going to get Android 16. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. But um, so I mean, you know, Samsung support um, one UI four point one is 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 just is getting really good. Uh, Dex, uh, a Samsung Dex, especially wireless Dex, is just freaking awesome. Um, honestly, um, um, I'm not a Boost customer, but I have a one of those lap docks where it's a touch screen and it, and it folds. One of those tablet lap docks or whatever. That is perfect for Dex. And, you know, um, your Samsung, those tablets they introduced at the same time as their phones that also have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the Galaxy Tab S8 series. I mean, I can hook this up to my touchscreen lap dock, and it's essentially, I, I essentially have a Galaxy Tab S8. I fold it, all touchscreen. Um, I'd have to show it to you. I'd have to bring it on one of my videos. I've, ha I've got it back in November or December. Um, I think it was December actually. Um, and, um, when it's folded in, 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 you know, tablet style, the bezels are very minimalistic, just like the Galaxy Tab S8. Hook this up to it. 
Because on the Galaxy Tab S8, you could put it in Dex mode without hooking it up to a monitor or a computer or a screen or anything like that. It can do Dex from the, from the tablet screen itself. You have a choice between Android and Dex. Um, and, you know, this right here, th that little laptop that I'm talking about gives me that ability as well. I can switch this to, to mirror the Android screen or I can have it go into Dex. And uh, it has a massive battery that will keep this thing charged. And, um, I mean, minus the wire... You know, I mean, I can essentially turn this into a Galaxy Tab S8, and I may even do a video on that. But um, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this little video here. Like I said, it's just a, just a little overview of, uh, you know, you know the you know first day out of the box here, you know, what, what to expect. Um, if y'all are a Boost customer, definitely check it out on Boost. Uh, it, it, it is, I think that's a, I think, you know, if... If, if, if you are a, you know, Sam, if you are a Samsung fan, first and foremost, you don't care about all these other little brands that offer similar specs. The cameras obviously won't compare. The software won't compare as far as updates in the future goes. I don't keep them enough to really care about that myself. Um, you know, I like the fact that the Red Magic is near stock Android, like a Motorola. Um, you know, um, they've definitely gotten better about the bugs and stuff like that too. But, um, one UI a lot of people really do like. It has grown on me as well. Um, so, uh, you know, this is, you know, if you're a Boost customer, Boost is definitely the way to go. They have it for the cheapest price, I think, you know, without trade-ins. And uh, and and the deal I got on this, you, I didn't even have to port a number. There was no porting required. You just, you just added it to the cart and you paid for it. That was it. I mean... I mean, you, you you know, everyone else would make you port a number in any other prepaid company, Metro, uh, Cricket, I mean, you know, uh, Visible, I mean, you know, it's just, you know, and now they even make you pay X amount of months in advance too, two or three months before you, you know, you know before they'll even give you the rebate. So, uh, yeah, you know, again, you know, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will, um, I'm sure I'll see you all in the comments and I got more coming up. Peace out.